Hey guys, this is Chris from KRC Creations. I wanted to show you this new soap that I did today. As most of you know, I really want to get into um, glycerin melt and pour soap. And actually, um, this is a melt and pour soap. And what I did was, um, it took me two hours to make this soap because I made so such a mess and I thought it was going to be horrible and a mistake and everything. And I actually took it out and I told, said to my daughter, I'm so disappointed because this is such a mess. But you never know what happens when you cut uh, the loaf. So I'm pretty pleased. What happened, um, I put some slivers of orange and white in a kind of a darkish black gray. And I didn't think I did that right. I didn't think I had the temperatures right. But obviously they came out pretty good. And then what I did, um, I didn't really put these on until after. What I did is I took my um, sealer for my shrink wrap and I melted the tops a little bit. And then I stuck some candy, um, Halloween candy. You can see they have ghosts and just yellow and white. Goes along with the white and the orange in here. And I just stuck those on top of the slightly melted top to decorate them. And I think they came out really, really cute. Let me just show you some of them. Let me pick this one up. That's how they came out. And that's the top. That's a nice one. Here's another one. This is the one I've been showing you all along. That one. And most all of them have the speckles in them. And I didn't think that was going to happen at all. One thing I do want to tell you guys about is check out your Target in the dollar bin. Because I got these the other day in the dollar bin. And I was so surprised. Of course I used up all those candy sprinkles. They're... Halloween confetti, um, sugar, nesperos, um, and sprinkles, and ghosts and pumpkins. But you get four containers, and yeah, they're really cool. I can make some more Halloween soaps with these. So all my Halloween soaps will be melt and pour to give myself some practice. And plus, you know, they're ready. Like instantly, so I don't have to let them cure or anything like that. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, um, I love the shape of them. And I was in the process of looking for uh, a silicone mold. I actually used one of my wooden molds and poured it with the freezer wrap. But that didn't work out too well. So I was like, okay, I have to go buy a silicone mold. And I was like, huh, I don't know. You know how I like to take a non-traditional approach to the traditional approach. So what I did was I was in Meyer this morning, which is a store here, and I found this. It's the Rubbermaid Ice Bin. And I, I'm gonna show you the inside, okay? This is the melt and pour, but it's deep. I poured it up to about here, and it got the height of the soap, and see my mess, just, it was just a disaster. And I was able to get seven really nice slices out of this and it came out of this perfectly look around the bottom there's nothing left it came out perfect no struggle nothing and just came popped right out and I love the shape it even has a little feet at the bottom because the bottom of the Rubbermaid has that little indentation and the best part it only cost me $2.99 for this and I got two so a non-traditional approach to um, and a, a traditional soap making thing. So I don't know how long this is going to last, um, but it's better than paying $30 for a silicone mold right now when I'm still just learning So um, and testing and doing all this other stuff. So I just wanted to show you this. Uh, my phone's ringing, so <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, I, I wanted to show you one other thing. Um, this is another soap that I made. Um, it's Melt and Pour 2. And it has a nice little pumpkin inside. And it's a bleeding soap and I didn't know. So the pumpkin has a little halo. But I think that is so cool. And it's um, set in a clear um, Melt and Pour. And it has a black bottom there. So I really like that. And some of them have one pumpkin in them and some of them have two pumpkins in them and then it has a glittery top on it um, and this is scented in witch's brew um, 
I I really wanted to try that scent ever since um, uh, Nature's Art. Um, she did a review on that for uh, Nature's Garden. So um, I did, and I love it. So that's my other uh, Halloween soap offer. I forgot to tell you, these are scented in bergamot. So yay. So I have two Halloween soaps that will be listed. Um, thank you guys. This is going to be a journey for me. So you're going to guys going to see a lot of almost successes, failures that turn into successes. And hopefully I'll get to a point where I have more successes than I do failures. So yeah, and this one was the one that I put in my mold. And I had to actually tear my mold apart to get this out because it, the, um, let me go show you what it looks like now. Okay, yeah. This is the mold that I put this soap in. Uh, I made this soap in. And I just lined it as if I would a cold process. And what happened was it kind of seeped through. And you see how all this is melt and pour in here. This was the bottom. I'm sorry, this was the side like that. And these were the ends. So the paper was completely stuck. So I had to just pry this whole thing apart just to get the soap out. But the soap came out beautifully. Um, no problems with the soap at all. Just that I had to clean this mold up and put it back together. It's still usable. Yay. So I'm so glad that I still can use it. I just got to clean it up. But I won't be doing that again. Um, and that's why I went and got... Um, this one, I'm, I think I might go back and get some more. Two ninety nine. I mean, you can't beat that with a stick. So, yeah. So I'm excited. I'm, I got two successes. Well, almost successes, not a complete success. So, yeah, this one. I didn't know what the heck I was doing um, in terms of. I thought I had the temperatures right, but I just didn't trust myself, and it came out fine. And this one, I put it in the wrong molds, and I used the bleeding soap. But the bleeding soap actually made, makes a great halo inside there so yeah again I got lemon I had lemons and now I have lemonade so I'm so happy with my two um, bars of lemonade um, so yeah I'll talk to you guys really soon I won't be coming back again I know I already said goodbye but yeah thanks for watching and you'll see more from me in the next couple of days bye